So this is where we left off in the previous video. We found out that the demand is elastic, so we have to take care with the prices. Now what does that mean? Let's look. In question C we're asked how can we increase total revenue? Well to increase total revenue we have to charge consumer a price that they'll be willing to pay. So because they're elastic it means they're very sensitive to prices, meaning that we should respect that. We cannot just increase prices because we want because they're not going to buy. They're going to reduce demand a lot. So what we're going to do to increase prices is that we're going to decrease uh, the price. Sorry, what we're going to do to increase the revenues is to decrease the price. They're sensitive to that. So if the price goes a bit lower, they are going to be willing to increase their demand by a lot. And the opposite happens. If the price would go a bit higher, they would decrease the demand by a lot. So we have to use that to our advantage. Decrease the price so that the quantity demanded increases a lot so that we also increase our total revenues. Now, let's look at part D. In part D, we want to find out which is going to be the price that maximizes total revenues. So basically, we want to find out the optimal price. Now, why does that matter? Let's solve it both with math and on a graph. What is the total revenue function? The total revenue function is price times quantity. Now, we know that the price stays for P and quantity demanded, if we go back to the beginning, is equal to 1800 over here, 1800 minus 15 P. So let's write that down. 1800 minus 15 P. 15 P. Let's open the brackets. So we have 1800 times the price minus 15 times the price squared. And let's write it as minus 15 price square plus 1800 times the price and the reason the reason I suggest we write it with the minus 15 times price squared initially is to see that we're having here a quadratic equation meaning that on a graph that would look up like a parabola so how would that look like a parabola if we write total revenue as a function of price total revenue as a function of price at a parabola with a negative coefficient would look something like this. Let's say, uh, let's say from here, for example. What does that mean? That means that we have a peak of the total revenues, meaning we can reach to a maximum amount that we want, and that happens at the maximum at the maximizing price. This would be the total revenue. At that peak, we can see that the slope is flat. What does that mean? That means that the derivative of the total revenue with respect to price must be equal to zero. And what's the intuition here? Why would we have such a graph overall? Because look, there is a certain range, a certain elasticity over which we can charge the price, we can increase the price to a point where people are still buying, people are still consuming, so our total revenues would still go up. But there is a threshold that beyond which, if we increase the price, the quantity demanded goes down, so that trade-off of higher price and less quantity is in our disadvantage. Overall, we're starting to, to, to decrease our revenues. So we want to stop at this peak, at this sweet spot. Now let's do it. Total revenue derivative with respect to price is equal to, let, let me just write that real quick, minus 15 P squared plus 1800 times P equals to zero. So what's minus 15 price squared derivative? That's just minus 15 times two price, times two times price plus, and here we just have the constant 1800 equals to zero. Let's take minus 15 times two, that's minus 30 price, minus 30 price plus 1800 equals to zero. Let's take minus 30 price to the other side, so we would have 1800 equals to 30 times the price. So the price, the optimal price for us would be 1800 divided by 30, which is equal to uh, 60 euros. So if we charge 60 euros, we are going to maximize our revenues. Hope this makes sense. We are done.